are you doing? Hello. Come say good morning and welcome to Vlogtober. Finally got my new vlogging camera. So hopefully all the settings Nancy. are the same. We are off to Cornwall this morning. Very tired. Was up late last night just trying to tie any loose ends work-wise and pack. So I've not had much sleep the last couple nights. But we're up. We're ready. Fairly early. As you can see, Delilah and I have our comfy jumpsuits on for the mm. car journey so it's going to take us about how long is it going to take us down six wow. hours yeah so we've got it's going to take us six hours driving time but obviously a lot longer to get there with um stops and lunch breaks and toilet breaks and things a little bit nervous about driving that long with delilah got a bag full of snacks in here people were laughing at how i said snacks in a vlog the other day so now i feel really conscious when i whenever i say the word snacks um, we've got these bags, we've got one for on the way there and one on the way back. I'll link them in the description. Um, they are from keepemquiet.com and these have loads of little entertainment bits and bobs in. Mommy. 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 Yeah? Mommy. 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 Ready? Yeah, just closing that window. Daddy. She's the only windows and doors. You ready to go? Yeah! Stopping off to get some coffee because we had no more milk left at home so we need a bit of brekkie and some coffee. I picked myself up some porridge. Doug's got some bacon brioche, no sausage brioche roll or something and then I've ordered us um, flat white and a cappuccino. You may notice that we've got a different car. This is um, Doug's parents' car. They're away this weekend. Actually, Ben and Melissa are away as well, celebrating their first year anniversary. I can't believe it's been a year since their wedding. So yeah, we're all, we're all going away this week. Um, and because Doug's parents are away, and they've got a bigger car than we do, they've um, popped Doug on the insurance. So yeah, we've got a nice, big, comfy car, and heated seats. My bottom is very toasty right now. I'm gonna tuck into my porridge. I've got my, I've got these, oh these are so good, so I've got, um, it's hard to find reusable cutlery, like travel reusable cutlery that's a little bit small and easy to pop, pop in your bag, that's metal, and then I found these Joseph Joseph ones, they come in this little silicone pouch which is nice because it stops them rattling around, they're magnetic so they stick together like that and you pop them in here, and I was very chuffed with this purchase, so anyway. I'll link it in the description if you'd like to if you'd like to check them out. But anyway, I'm gonna enjoy my porridge and we will probably see you guys in a couple of hours when we have our first stop off. Whoops. <laughs> A little water pen and it reveals the colour and the picture underneath. It's really good. And it's not messy at all. We're about to go past Stonehenge, Bubba. Once once we get past this bit of traffic. It's because it goes into one lane and then we go past Stonehenge so everyone like slows down to like <laughs> go <Gorbet. laughs> put some stones. There we go, for those of you who have never seen Stonehenge, that is <laughs> Stonehenge right there. Out. We have stopped off in Yeovil. Didn't expect to do that long in the car. Delilah's been an absolute angel. We did about three and a half hours. So that yeah, good. That's not bad going. Thought we'd stop, um, stop off here and find a nice cafe, get some lunch, stretch our legs, get some fresh air. You coming? We've spotted this coffee shop which looks right up our street, so I'm gonna give this a go. Thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah, mummy mummy's gonna sit here, yeah. <laughs> I've got myself, of course, an iced coffee and then I've got a tomato pesto and mozzarella toasty with some little crisps on the side so I'm just having a little bit of mine and Doug's it's like nice what have you found? you 
you found a little one. Oh, cool. So that was a really nice stop. It was nice to go. It was much nicer than going to a service station, which which is what we usually do when we travel. But it's actually nicer to stop off somewhere, see a new place, new town, new city. And my stick. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Quick nappy change. Here we go for the last leg of our journey we've got a couple couple more hours to go perfect timing actually coming here for lunch because it's pretty much well yeah perfect bang on delilah's nap time off to go find um our home for the next five days which is very exciting gonna check in first I think we need to check in over there oh my gosh <sighs> stretch my legs it's so quiet and calm here <laughs> uh, yes. hello here I am Shut up, a daddy come on because we have been stuck in the car all day <laughs> <laughs> and I think Delilah's just about had enough of it. She's been absolutely amazing. I think we've probably had two minuscule squeaks out of her and that's been it. We're leaving the car up there and we're going to walk down to our villa. Gosh, I feel like this camera is having a hard time um, with light i keep going like really bright maybe it's just because i'm not used to the new camera because obviously this is going to be a much better camera than my other one it's exactly the same but obviously my other one's a year older but yeah so having a little stroll down to the villa now this is our this is our home for the next five days delilah should we go in oh. hi <laughs> There was someone still in here doing inventory. She was like, oh, sorry, sorry, I'll get out your way now. Look at all this room, Delilah. Plenty of room on the sofa for all three of us. We got a nice big fridge. Mommy, fridge. Oh. What's in it? Some orange some juice, some juice, oh, some I've got some orange, orange juice. Orange juice. <laughs> I'm okay, coming, come gorgeous. Go. Oh, Daddy and I were just checking out the fridge. <gasps> come in, come in. Good job. Not used to having stairs, are you? En suite and nice big bath. Wow, so this place has four bedrooms so this is the first bedroom i think there might be a bedroom downstairs should we go see the other rooms so we've got a room here with two singles what's around here i'm guessing this is wardrobe wardrobe space <laughs> so dark what is this your room in here no, it's mine. Mine and Delilah's hiding play. We're gonna hide in here. Hide. We're gonna hide. Bye. Bye, Bye Daddy. Bye. Oh, it's dark. <laughs> yeah. <Boo>. Dark. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is our room, do you? Yeah. This little balcony. So oh, lovely. See everyone else it's villas as well cool and then that is our table and chairs downstairs bye 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 mind your fingers, fingers. <laughs> <laughs> do you like being in the dark <gasps> where's Tyler gone mm -hmm. <laughs> and there's more rooms down here so we've got a little little bedroom in here and 
bathroom maybe yeah so we've got another bathroom nice big shower nice big mirror delilah delilah shot herself in here delilah are you hiding from me Oi! <laughs> are you excited on holiday holiday yeah and then there's one more room still should we go find it another double bedroom in here and then we've got a nice little welcome hamper. So we've got some local eggs, bread. Oh, we've got some clotted cream shortbread and some wine. And a little hamper. This is such a comfy sofa. Oh, Doug's just gone to get the car. And then we're going to head out, go to a town close by. I have a little look around, just get out for a bit because obviously... We've just been sat in the car all afternoon and all morning. Gonna see if there's somewhere we can find some fish and chips and get some takeout fish and chips for dinner. We were actually invited here by Natural Retreats. This is where we're staying. They contacted us months ago and they don't just have places here in Cornwall. They have places all over the UK and they asked if they could um, put us up for five nights and where would we like to go? And we could have gone to the Yorkshire Dales, Scotland, uh, Wales. And as much as I love Scotland and as much as I love the Yorkshire Dales, um, we thought Cornwall, Cornwall would be a nice place to take Delilah. We went to Bude a few years ago when Delilah was in my tummy. Um, I was probably about seven months pregnant. I remember Doug and I saying how nice it would be to come back to another area of Cornwall and, um, and, bring, and bring Bubba with us. And now Bubba is an actual walking, talking little top. Can't wait to take Delilah to the beach. She's going to love it. She's been to the seaside before, but she's never properly been let loose on the beach to get covered in sand and build sandcastles. So that'll be really fun. It's going to be a really good week. Yeah, and just a big thank you to Natural Retreats for inviting us here and providing this amazing accommodation for us. It's not sponsored, but of course, I'll leave a link to them in the description if you're interested in looking at their retreats and where they're available if this looks like something you and your family would be interested in they've got different sized retreats but this is great for somewhere to come with family um we've gone on we've gone on quite a few family holidays with doug's family and somewhere like this is perfect in the last vlog i uploaded i mentioned that i was going to vlog every day whilst we're here because it's actually technically the last week of september but because we don't get back until the day before the first of October. It just made sense that I started Blogtober here. Anyway, I'm gonna go give this little one some water. Want me to fill up your cup? Water. There you go, Possum. There you go. You want milk now? Gosh, do you change your mind, don't you? Yeah. Me, 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 me. <laughs> There's me waffling away and Doug's bringing in all our stuff from the car. Thanks. Do you need any help? Okay. We thought we'd bring this picnic basket because we got it um, years ago. I got it because um, I was doing um, some sort of Instagram campaign and I needed a picnic basket. And it's not been new since so we thought let's bring it because we can take our own picnic to the beach rather than trying to shove it all in a canvas bag. <laughs> these are brand new converse as you can see not dirty at all so um fresh out of the box otherwise i would not be letting her on our bed i am just popping some of delilah's clothes away i definitely packed too many things so i had a zillion and one things to do last night i just saw Let's just pack all the stuff I like to put her in at the moment. I'm up, Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, okay. Daddy. We're ready, aren't we? Let's go. Go. We're going to go to, where is it? Harbour. Charleston Har on, Harbour. Man. Um, We're going to go look at some boats and then go get some fish and chips. I will do that later. The nice thing about being away for um, a, a nice amount of time is that it feels worthwhile unpacking. So I'm looking forward to unpacking because there's nothing worse than living out of a suitcase when you're away. I do excuse the, <laughs> excuse the hair. It was a rush out of bed, shove it in a button, slap on some makeup and a comfy outfit kind of morning. 
Back in the car we go, only for a short 10 minute journey. Guess how much four hours was? Well. Four hours is the minimum you can get. Four, four hours in the car park? Yeah. 50p. £2.50 is not cheap. <laughs> <laughs> This camera is running out of battery. I have three fully charged spare batteries back at the villa in my bag. I'm gonna have to film whatever I can and if it's cut short, you know why. Yo, Delilah sized boat. Then my battery tied, but we had a lovely stroll around the harbour. It was so peaceful. And then after we stretched our legs and had a little walk around, we went and picked up some supplies. We grabbed some coffee for the morning and some more milk and bread and things. We've all got cod and chips to share. We've got little chips for Delilah. She definitely won't eat all of those, but I wanted to make sure Doug and I had enough chips. And then Doug and I also have more chips in here with our fish. And we'll just give Delilah some of our fish. And then we've got sauces because we need all dip dip. Any other parents have to let their kids' food cool down first. That's what I'm doing right now. It was really nice to um, get out and do a, a little something before um, having dinner and going to bed. You all right, darling? Do you keep banging your head on stuff? Oh, Bob. <laughs> she keeps bonking her head on things because she's obviously not, it's a new place to her, new things. About to have dinner, Doug's just serving up ours. Did it. So nice. Thank you. Cheers, Daddies. <laughs> Daddies, Daddies. Try again. Oh. Ready? Concentrate. Oh. And to set up Denada's pot. Oh, silly. <laughs> this is the room we've decided for Delilah. So she can have a bath in there and then come out. And there's two single beds in here. But at the end of the room here, it's a nice big space. And I thought if we open this up, we can have the cot. And this in this space there, a bit, bit darker there as well. Talking so much now, aren't you? Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go pop this in Delilah's cot. No experience with past travel cots. They are not the comfiest to sleep in. I mean, I've not slept in one myself, but I have felt how hard the ones Delilah has slept in in the past. And although she always sleeps in them fine, 
I always feel a bit bad because travel cots are really hard. Because we're going to be here for five nights, I thought I can't let her sleep on a rock solid surface. So she may as well sleep on the floor. I popped onto Argos and got one that would fit pretty pretty much fit the dimensions of the mother care ones I saw on their website. That's gonna be so much nicer for her to sleep on. Not that it's ever bothered her, but I just, I feel bad. Like she must wake up feeling a bit stiff. Where are you two? Daddy. Oh, I know. Daddy. Oh, okay, sorry, Mommy. should we leave you? Bye-bye. Close the door, okay. Yeah. Daddy. No, nothing. No. <laughs> <laughs> she was in there herself. Yeah, I know, she I does that sometimes at home. Should I have a spare? Mattress covered in here, so we've got a sleeping bag. There we go. I am gonna get myself changed into my gym jams. Just get out of these clothes, pop Delilah to bed, and then chill out on the sofa. I do need to upload a vlog, but it's literally just a matter of me hitting upload, filling out the description and um uploading the thumbnail but everything is like good to go i made sure last night that i had all three vlogs for this week um on an external hard drive including the thumbnails ready to go so that won't take me too long to do and then doug and i can just chill out i have been living in these pjs since i got them about a week ago they are from top shop um i wanted another pair I've got my polka dot pair that i love but i wanted another pair that weren't shorts and were um long long trousers rather than shorts they're a little, little bit warmer for autumn winter but also the shorts were very short so um, i didn't feel comfortable wearing them around anyone but duck and delilah really i really want to unpack more but i'm just i feel so tired hello <laughs> did, you have, did you have a nice bath wow yeah you say no no to that day Right, right. Right. Thank goodness the internet is fast. I was expecting it to take hours to upload, and it's just as fast as at home. I'm going to bed now. One of my spots just popped. I've had this lump on my cheek for the last few weeks and it's been completely painless and there was nothing to pop. And then just now I was like, hmm, looks like I could give it a little nudge. I know that's the worst thing to do. And now it's a little bit upset, but hopefully it will go down now. And yeah, as you can see, I've not had a great month uh, skin wise. I now need to decide which side of the bed I'm going to sleep on. I usually can sense what side I want to sleep on and it usually ends up being the side that's furthest away from the door. That's just the way it goes. But I'm not sure if I want to sleep on that side of the bed. So, it, so I need to figure out what side I want to be on. Sleeping on this side. We're definitely off to bed now. I've said this about three times already. Well, you'll see you guys tomorrow for our, well, in a couple of days' time, but technically filming tomorrow. We will see you for our first full day in Cornwall. I'll see you guys for a proper day of vlogging. Today was very much just a travelly, travelly day and settling type day, and I'm a bit delirious, so I'm not sure what my vlogging was like. I will see you in a couple of days. Bye. Bye.